All right, 12 hours later and we finally made it to Italy. We're waiting for our bags and then we're gonna either catch a taxi or Uber to the Airbnb. So we're not doing an Uber after all, it was 60 euros, so we're gonna do a taxi. They have van ones, so I'm hoping the vans are 22 euros as well. If not, we'd have to get two, which would be 44 euros, a lot less than the um, Uber. So that's our Airbnb right there. And we're in this little, I don't know, like outdoor shopping area. I'm just gonna walk to the corner and then turn around. Okay, so time for a walkthrough of the Airbnb. It's a three bedroom, three bathroom apartment. And to the left is our kitchen and living room area. And then this window here faces the, the street where we were at earlier. Down the hallway, we have our first bathroom, walk-in shower with obviously toilet and a bidet directly across is the first be bedroom. And then continuing down the hall is the second bathroom, same setup. Directly across from that bathroom is the second bedroom. And then the last bedroom, the two twin beds. Again, then our own bathroom. So it's our first full day here in Italy. We arrived in Florence yesterday, like around five in the evening. We didn't do anything yesterday other than check into our Airbnb. We had a little hiccup. Uh, the Airbnb wasn't ready. Basically, it wasn't clean, so we had to wait around a few hours before we could check in. Um, a few of us did go out and grab something to eat, but other than that, that's all we did. So today, uh, we do have a food, a food tasting tour that we're going to be heading off to in a few minutes. I know, it's like perfect. Grazie. So we just met up with our tour guide and our first stop is this little food cart and that's our tour guide right there, Axel. He is from Denmark, but he's been living here for a few years. Our second stop is here at the farmer's market and it's this vendor. I'm not sure what we're getting yet. So now that we're inside uh, where all the meat is sold, actually the lampredotto is what we had in that sandwich earlier. So that's enough for you then. This is a very good parmesan over parma. From April 2020. Alright, so our third stop. What are you saying? Those ones look good? Except everything is different, of course. It's the local ham, it's fresh cream cheese, and it's deep fried. fried. Right Alright, our fourth stop. I believe this is our fifth stop now. For our cured meat, Tuscan porchetta, wild boar salami, finocchio una sbicciolona.
So we're thinking this restaurant here might be from the Netflix series from scratch, but we're not sure. I will Google it when we get back. Okay, so so far on this food tour, we've stopped at four places. Well, five including the cheese one, but it wasn't actually part of the food tour. I think we have one more stop. The famous Ponte Vecchio Bridge and the Arno River. Okay, so we're now actually walking over the Ponte Vecchio Bridge. So we just arrived at our fifth stop of our food tour. Grazie. So our last stop is gelato. Grazie. All the servings from this food tour have been pretty reasonable. So we are pretty cool, but there's always room for dessert. So we just finished up with our food tasting tour. We're heading back to the Airbnb for right now. Later on this evening, we are going to go see the Statue of David. I don't know if we're gonna do anything from now until then, but for right now, that's it. We're on our way to the Academia Gallery to go see the Statue of David now. And you can see how busy the uh, center of the city is during the late afternoon, early evening time. And this is the Domo. And I think it's one of the more popular things or at least what Florence is known for. So we arrived to the gallery where the Statue of David's at and this is the line if you're buying tickets at the door. We bought a skip the line ticket from Get Your Guide so we're walking over to their office to get our tickets. So tickets? Uh, with this So we're using the kiosk to buy bus tickets to head up to the, the Plaza de Michelangelo, which is a viewing point where you can see the city of Florence. All right, so we got our bus tickets and now to go find the bus. All right, so we just got off the bus and we made it to the Plaza de Michelangelo and again this is the view, viewing point to see the city of Florence. And this is the view that we're here to see. Alright, we got our pictures from the viewing point and we're heading back down to the bus. And that's what we just walked down from the uh, Plaza de Michelangelo. We just got off the bus at the Ponte Viejo Bridge and we're walking back to our Airbnb. We're gonna go and have dinner now. Right, so this is where we're gonna try to eat dinner. It's actually our Airbnb is right there, like the first floor. I'm not sure what window it is, but we're just now gonna check to see if we need to make reservations or how this works. So we're not eating dinner at the restaurant by the Airbnb because uh, most of the food that they had there was what we kind of already had on our food tour. So we're trying to find a restaurant that serves uh, the pasta dishes for dinner instead. So we just tried three different restaurants. None of them had a table enough for six people, but we finally did find one. And we are eating at, I don't even know what this place is called, but this is a restaurant that we're eating at. That's the name of the restaurant. We just finished dinner and we're heading back to Airbnb. We're calling it a night. Uh, tomorrow we're heading out to Pisa. So we'll pick this up again tomorrow. So we're back in Florence now. Uh, from here we're going to hop on a bus to go back to the farmer's market that we visited yesterday with our food tasting tour. And it is starting to rain a little bit. We're almost to our bus stop though. Alright, we made it to the farmer's market from yesterday and the rain started coming down. It's not too bad but it's a decent amount now. Okay, so so far we've gotten food from the farmer's market and then the street vendor which had the Lampertelto and Gripa sandwich 
We got some hamburgers and, and now we're heading over to another stop on our food tasting tour where we had like that charcuterie board. Then that'll be our last stop and we'll head over to the Airbnb and enjoy all our food that we bought. Got all these bags. Okay, we're almost home and we'll be here for two hours and 30 minutes because later on today we are doing our last activity for the day which is a pizza and gelato cooking class. All right, so we are heading off to our last activity for the day, which is the pizza and gelato cooking class. We made it to our meeting point for the uh, pizza and gelato cooking class, and we're just sitting on the steps, waiting for our transportation. All right, there's our tour guide. The pizza and gelato cooking? Yes. Okay. We had our walk for a little bit. Unfortunately, the bus can fit that tiny room and turn around to exit. It's about... Okay, first of all, welcome, welcome one more time to the Pizza and Gelato class. Uh, I do have you guys set up before anything serious today. Let's do the fun parts. Let's have a little glass of something, something to eat. No, So these these two are supposed to be in there. Oh, yeah. No, we don't. It's gonna be like the best gelato ever. Uh, I'm gonna set you guys up with something to drink. Yeah, I think we're done drinking. I don't think we. I don't think we need any more to drink. <laughs> It's gonna be Neapolitan style pizza. Not towards the bottom lip. It should go more towards the top than the bottom. Friends, that's it. Leave the machine flat on the table and let it do all the work by itself. But as you can see, I have two of them. That means I do need a volunteer for this part. You want to help me? Ready? Ready. And that, and that's about it. And from that liquid mess, you literally get the gelato. <laughs> so we actually been bouncing back and forth between the gelato and the pizza because of the process. We just uh, mixed our gelato and we're going to let it sit in the fridge for a while. And now we're going to continue on with our pizza. Three, two, one, go! Wow, this is Three, two, one. Okay. Got the excess flour. <laughs> That's ninety percent of the work. Good. I will help you out with the fine tuning now. Ready? Okay. Thank you so much. Is the cheese last? Uh, no. You can go cheese first, and actually, if you want to see the toppings about everything. Uh, Mamma mia! What a good pizza! <laughs> Yeah. I survived all the toppings. I have my maid survived. So now we get to taste uh, the gelatos that everybody made. And then I'm going to put that on your truck. Don't forget the name. One more. Thomas, Tiziano, and Chris. So we just finished our pizza and gelato cooking class and we are heading home in the rain and in the dark. So we just got dropped off by the uh, bus. We have uh, about a 10 minute walk to the Airbnb. Um, that's pretty much gonna be it for tonight. It's already about 10 o'clock at night. 
tomorrow we're heading out to Venice kind of early in the morning so we'll pick this up again tomorrow.